I want to point out really quickly. On the far right corner, and I know it's tough to see it, but just going to click on it, there's a four citizen section. So this is projects about for getting involved, citizens' guides. It's a great place to get information about uh, your role in the process and some things that first get worked up. So four citizens. The second part I wanted to point out was the e-library. Top center image. There's a couple different ways to get there. The library is what you're looking for, and that's where you can find project specific information. So, a lot of times you want to do a general search. And I can walk out through this individually, I know I'm going to go through pretty quickly, but I just want to show you the information that you do a general search. Kevin pointed out a docket number earlier, and this is where this is important it's, it's PF 14 1. So if you can put in PF14-1 niche, and you can see the date range on the top, or, or maybe you can't see, but this is all the, the, the documents that would be in this, this document for the past month. And this goes back to October 13th, so we'll go forward so this project ends however it does. So if you put in PF14-1 and hit submit, it'll give you everything that we have for the past month. Here you can see a comment by Ms. Laura Daly that was submitted today. You can also see a conference call summary that I submitted yesterday. You can see meetings from another conference call. You can see the, the comments of the Lowndes County Democratic Committee. You can just scroll through there, comments from the Choctaw Nation. And it's good to know what other people are concerned about and other thoughts, so I just want to point this out. Yeah. Comments from Mr. David Brown, comments from Mr. Tim Carroll. Scroll back up real quickly, Mitch, to the top, and I want you to click on two things really quickly. Just click on one of the summaries of the meeting we had. We'll say, well, that second one there. Just click on the word file because it comes in either PDF or Word. It seems like they have pretty fast internet here. So here you can see a summary of a meeting we had with Stable Trail that I submitted yesterday. On February 18th, we met with, this, with the Stable Trail and we discussed a number of items. So those are there. So every meeting I have, I put up here. You can close that out if you have some of these comments. Yeah, let's go to the next floor daily. I haven't read those comments yet. It's not in the text. It's a zero. And she has a letter that is going to be really tough to read, but there are her concerns. So she has concerns with fossil fuels. And I'm just kidding. And just, so that information's up there. I just wanted to point that out. I'll turn it back over to Kevin if you can switch back over to PowerPoint and get into the comments question. Yes, ma'am. The maps are up here too. Uh, and the company submitted the maps in January. I can get you the exact date. Sometimes it's that date. So I'll turn it back over to Kevin. I hope that was helpful for people. I, I, I don't want to take too much out of your time. That's a good way to find out more information about these projects and maps are up there. You're going to have to dig around a little bit, and I'm happy to help you. And we also have an 800 number, or if you call that, there's a, a person on staff who can find things for you and talk you through it. And we'll be around after we're done. It takes more questions if you still have them. This. So we're getting through ahead and take your comments now. So I'd like to remind that this is this is an official meeting. So again, when you come up and give your comments, please make sure you give us your name and spell it if you haven't already done that. Um, since it is an official meeting, you know, it's for purpose for us um, and for you guys. So it's going to be transcribed and you can get a copy from the court order later if you want one. Um, but it's going to be put on the record for us. Uh, so it's your official comments and so you're so you're protected from what you're saying. So your comments and your identities protected when you say. Um, so with that, um, we've got a couple handful of people signed up. So if you're representing a group, please go ahead and state that group that you're representing. Um, we've got a couple of people signed up. So you normally say like, your comments five minutes, but certainly please don't go longer than ten, just so we can get to you know, everyone who signed up. And once we get through everyone, uh, you didn't sign up and you decided you want to comment, uh, we'll get to you after I've gotten through the people that have signed up. Uh, so the first person who signed up... Kevin, 